morning, my dear children. How are you? I hope you all are fit and fine. Children, today is our English class. And remember the ABC song. So first, we will revise it and we will sing it. So you also sing it with me. Come little children, come to me. I will teach you A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, sugar on the bread, if you don't want go to bed, come to me on next Monday. I will teach you A, B, C. So yes, now we all are energetic and we are ready for our English class, isn't it? So let's start it. Children, today I will teach you capital and small alphabet A to Z. And after that, we will learn and revise phonic sounds. And then I will teach you to write capital L in your notebook. And after that, it will be a rhyme time, isn't it? And we will revise little Jack Horner poem. Alright, so let's start our English class. Children, now let's learn and read capital alphabet A to Z with the help of this chart. Alright, now look here. This is A. A for apple. You also speak with me. A. A for apple. B. This is capital B. B for ball. C. C for cat. This is D. D for dog. Children, now comes E. And this is capital E. E for elephant. You can see here. This is F. F for fish. This is G. Speak with me. G for grapes. This is H. H for horse. I, I for ice cream, J, J for jug, K, K for kite, this is L, L for lion, the king of the jungle, this is M, M for monkey, N, N for nest, O, O for orange, P, P for parrot, Q, Q for queen, R. R for rose. This is S. S for swan. T. T for telephone. U. U for umbrella. This is capital V. V for van. W. W for watch. X. X for xylophone. This is Y. Y for yacht. And this is Z. The last alphabet. Z for zebra. So children, we have revised reading of capital alphabet A to Z. Now we will learn small letters A to Z. Children, now let's learn small alphabet A to Z. This is small A, small B, small C, small D, small E, small F. You also speak with me. Small G, small H, small I, small J. Now comes small k, small l, small m, small n, small o, small p, small q, small r, small s, small t, small u, small v, small w, small x, small y and small z. Children, I hope now you are able to recognize capital and small letters A to Z. Children, now it's time to learn phonic sounds, sounds of the letters. So let's start it. Children, A says A, apple, ant. Remember the sound of A? A says A. B, now comes B. B says B, ball, bat. Can you hear the sound? It says B. After B comes the letter C. C says K. The sound of C is K. K, cat, cat. Can you hear the sound? Yes, it's saying K. C says K. After C comes D. D says D. Sound of D is D. 
dog, dots. Which sound is coming? Yes, you can hear. It's D. D says D. After D, it's E. E says E. How come? E for egg. E for elephant. And the sound is coming? E. Now comes F. F says F. F. Can you hear it? Yes. F for frog. F for fish. So, which sound is coming? It's F. The sound of F is F. You also speak with me. After F comes G. G says G. G for goat. G for grass. And which sound is coming? G. G says G. Children, now comes H. Sound of H is H. And how come? H for hand, H for hat and they both say H. H says H. Sound of H is H. After H comes I. I, I for import, I for insect and the sound is coming E. I says E. Ink, import and insect and both and the sound which is coming from I is I says E. Now, children, after I comes J. And the sound of J is J. J says J. J for juice, J for jar. And the sound is coming J. You also say it with me. J says J. After J comes K. K for king. K for kite. And the sound is coming K. And this K is kicking K. Understand? And the sound of K is K. Kicking K. After K comes L. L for lamp. L for leaf. And the sound is coming L. L. Tongue will go up. Our tongue will go up and the sound is coming from L is L. So the sound of L is L. Children, I hope you understand these sound. And the last sound was of letter L. L for lamb, L for leaf. And the sound was L. So, children, learn these sounds the way I taught you. And make your videos on it. And send them to me. Children, today I will teach you to write capital L. But before that, let's look at some pictures. Children, look here. This is capital L and L for lion, L for leaf, L for lamp, L for lock and L for lotus. Oh, so there are so many things which start with letter L. We will say them again. L for lion, L for leaf, L for lamp, L for lock. And L for lotus. So I hope now you are able to understand these things. And you are able to recognize them also. We will start with letter L. Now let's learn to write capital L. Look here. I have made the blocks. Put your pencil on the red line. from On the top line. And make a standing line. Till the second blue line. And then you have to make a small sleeping line attached to it on the blue line. In this way you have to write capital L. Don't remove your hand. Pura likhne ke baad hi aapko aapka haat hatana hai. Understand? Now see. We will write it again. Put your pencil on the dot. On the top red line. And then make a standing line. Come to the second blue line. And then. Make a sleeping line on the blue line. A small sleeping line. Like this. You have to write capital L. Standing line and a sleeping line. Standing line and sleeping line. Like this you have to write capital L. Now the board work is complete. I will teach you in your notebook. Children, 
Today in notebook you will again write L. And now see I have written L in the first line. And from today onwards children you have to write date on your own. Aapko apne aap date likhti hai. It's very easy. Now see today is 3rd September and you have to write date here in this square. Alright. Now see how you will write. You have to write 3. Come to the red line. Touch it. Then put a dot. Today is 3rd September. 3 dot 9 dot 20. 20. This is current year. Okay. So in this way you have to write date. And then you have to write here. Classwork. C dot W dot classwork. If you are able to write you can write, otherwise your mommy can write. Alright. So now let's start writing capital L. Put your pencil on the dot which is on the red line children. And then make a standing line children. Come to the second blue line, this blue line. And then make a sleeping line, a small sleeping line like this. And this way you have to write capital L. Put your pencil on the dot which is on the red line. From this red line you have to make a standing line till the second blue line. And here you have to stop. And then you have to make a sleeping line attached to it like this. Standing line, sleeping line. Standing line, sleeping line. Standing line, sleeping line. Like this you have to write. See, we are about to finish the first line. See. Now we are on the second line. Again, from this red line, you have to make a standing line till the second blue line. Touch it and then make a sleeping line attached to it. In this way, you have to write capital L. Like this. Children, now we are on the last line of this page. From the red line, you have to make a standing line till the second blue line. And then you have to make a small sleeping line attached to it. In this way, you have to make capital L. Like this, see. Now we will check our work and wherever we have done mistake, we have to erase it. See, this is not right. This line is not straight. So erase it and write it again. Like this. Alright. So in this way, you have to finish one page of L. And you have to send its picture to me. Children, now it's time to learn and practice our rhyme, Little Jack Horner. As you know, Jack Horner is a little boy. Chota sa ladka hai wo. And what he is doing? He's sitting in the corner. He's sitting in the corner and eating a Christmas pie. Wo ek pie kha raha hai, jo ki Christmas pe banti hai. And then what he did, he put in his thumb and pulled out the plum. Usne apne thumb ko under, under dala aur kheech ke bahar nikala. Aur kya nikala? A plum. Plum is a fruit. Jisko hum hindi mein alu ko khara bolte hain. And he was so happy to get a plum. And he said, what a good boy am I. Usko jaise plum mila, usko bohat khushi hui. और उसने बोला मैं तो कितना अच्छा बच्चा हूँ कि मुझे एक प्लम मिला है। Alright, so now let's recite this rhyme with actions. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I? Let's say it again. 
Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I. Children, learn this rhyme the way I taught you. Make your videos on it and send them to me. Alright, see you in your next class. Bye.